Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I often get asked about trends. More importantly, how can I get to market fast using some of the latest trends and ingredients that match those trends without compromising on quality or performance testing or stability testing? Well, I've introduced you to the concept of fast formulations in the past. Now, this doesn't mean you make a bulk lot of product and have it sitting in a warehouse somewhere and then just add a couple of actives to it. That's not what it's about. It's about using these fast formulation principles to create a base product that you know is going to work in development 99% of the time, and then you can reduce your needs for stability, performance, or efficacy testing before you launch. Doesn't mean you can't not do those tests anymore. What it means is that you can launch much faster with minimal testing while you conduct ongoing testing, but you at least get your product to market faster, you're on trend faster, and the consumers really notice this. Now this is something that a lot of the big brands do, and that is how the big brands get to market so fast with the latest trends without compromising on quality. So to talk you through and show you what I mean, today I'm going to make an anti-acne serum using some fast formulation principles. And one of the key things that you'll see brands do, especially when they've got products that consistently achieve the results consumers are looking for, is that base product always contains a workhorse. This is an active that's present that they may or may not tell a big marketing story about, while they focus on the trendy materials. Again, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean in this video today, and then you can put it into practice for your own brand with your own philosophies or other product launches. As mentioned today, I'm going to do an anti-acne serum, but you can apply the same principles to other types of products and other forms of products. Please watch my other fast formulation videos on foaming products and creams if you wanted to start with a base chassis in those product forms. Today, it's a serum. So now, let me show you how it's done. Okay, this is the product we're gonna be creating today. As you can see, it's a nice light serum. So one of the things we first do with our base formula is we make sure it's gonna really suit that skin type. And we wanna make sure we build in some variations to this base formula so that we can change it to suit different trends or different genders, or slightly different variations within that skin type. Now this is a real serum product, so it's a nice serum form, and it rubs in really easily. Now we'll put the formula on the side of the screen, but don't worry, you can contact us for this full formulation and method. A couple of things I've done here is, first of all, I have used the propane dial as a really non-sticky humectant material. Now this is important for your acne prone or oily skin types because they still need moisture in their skin. So this is non-greasy, it's a humectant, it will give moisture and suppleness. Another really important principle that I have in this base chassis is I've used the Ami Gel. Now this is really important, it's a non-ionic, non-tacky, viscosity modifying material that also helps build stability into the formula. Now what's great about this formula too is I have made it so that it's all natural and naturally derived. So you could potentially turn this into a Cosmos product if you wanted or at least make all natural claims. Now when it comes to the emulsifier choice, I've chosen an emulsifier that is really stable even in the presence of varying polarity lipids. This means we can change our lipids easily to suit different skin types or different product stories. I've used a medium skin fill emollient and I've kept the input quite low to suit acne prone or oily skin types. So the base formula again really suits providing moisture and a small amount of emolliency for this particular skin type. Now I have included 0.3% of a plant oil. In this case, I'm using hemp oil because we could tell a fantastic story about our hemp product. But of course, you could change this to suit other trends very, very easily. Now you'll see I've listed another active and I'll come back to this in a moment. What I'd really like to point out is that I have the Cutie Biome CLR in this product, which is my true workhorse. 
Now, if you look at some of the data for this material, you see that it clearly gets some fantastic results. It reduces the appearance of acne. It helps the skin feel more comfortable. It is using a microbiome material, so it also supports a microbiome story if you wanted to focus on that. But the results show that the product clearly works to reduce the appearance of acne and discomfort associated with acne. So what this means is I could use this in the formula without another active, or I could companion it with another active or water soluble extracts to meet different trends or marketing stories. For example, I could add an instant blur material to suit the selfie trend. I could add a pore minimizing active for further blemish control. I could add an anti-pollution active to control acne from pollution and tell that story. Or I could just keep the Cutie Biome CLR as my main active and focus on the microbiome story with anti-acne skincare. Finally, I have a small amount of antioxidant. I have my Cosmos Suitable Preservative and I have a small input of essential oil, which again could be removed or changed to suit your brand. So what we do with fast formulation principles is I would put this formula together using the Cutie Biome CLR but not the extra active and I would run my stability tests on this base formula. And then over the next two, three, five years and into the future, I can use this same serum product with my workhorse either in the background or with the story emphasizing that workhorse. But what I can do is change other extracts, other actives or even the oils to suit different trends and consumer demands. I can change the essential oil, I can remove the essential oil. It's not going to impact the stability if I run my initial stability tests using this base chassis formula. And of course, I know it's gonna get fantastic results every single time because of the workhorse I have built into my base formula. It's there every single time, whether I add extra actives, extracts, or change the oils or not. So my consumer's getting fantastic results. I can get to market faster and on trend with small changes to other oils or extracts or actives added. And I know my consumer's gonna be happy. And of course, I've got my original stability data showing the products really stable. Let me put this formula together for you and then I'll talk you through some additional selection concepts when choosing your workhorse for your fast formulation cosmeceutical products. First of all, I have my water and my propane dial already measured out and to this I'm going to add the Amigel. Now this doesn't hydrate straight away so I don't need to slurry it but it does mean that I do need to leave the product overnight once it's all put together and give it a stir the next day so that I am allowing that Ami Gel overnight to fully hydrate and swell and that way I get the best viscosity and stability build into the formulation. Now this is a serum so I am keeping the viscosity purposely low. I'm just going to heat both phases and then combine them. Over here I have my emulsifying wax, I have my caprylic capric triglycerides and I'm just going to add my plant oil. In this case I have used hemp oil but again you could change that or you could make it an oilless formula and remove that completely. Now I just need to heat both phases and then I can combine and emulsify. Now once that's cooled below 40, I can add my Cutie Biome. My antioxidant. My preservative. And my essential oil. Then I can just check and adjust pH.
and there we have our serum. Now remember on the day you make it, because it's hot process, the viscosity is lower. By the next day, it will form a more viscous serum consistency. Great for your serum dispensers. And of course, if you want a more viscous product, we have our fast formulation cream chassis you can start from too. Well, there you go. That's how to make your anti-acne serum. And of course, we've built a nice stable base and we have a workhorse present so that we know we're gonna get fantastic results from this formula every single time. Then as trends or new actives get launched, we can add to this formula or change the oils, essential oils, add extra actives or extracts to suit going trends and we can get to market fast in under three months with good confidence about the performance and stability of this product. Couple of things to remember, when picking your workhorse active, make sure it has a big range of compatibilities because you want it present in your product every single time to get the best performance even as trends change. So you wanna make sure your workhorse ingredient can handle a lot of different actives or materials and still be effective. You don't wanna pick an active, for example, that is only effective over a very narrow pH range or doesn't tolerate charge that might be present from other actives you want to add. In that base formula, it's best to use non-ionic emulsifiers and polymers so that again, you avoid incompatibilities from the base chassis formula. And of course, you can pick and choose other actives to go into this formula. Just run double checks to make sure it's gonna be compatible with everything else present and the final pH. Now, of course, once you've made your trendy formula using the workhorse base formula, make sure you still run accelerated and full stability. But remember, you can launch far faster using these fast formulation principles because you have a high degree of confidence that the formula is going to work and be stable every single time while you're conducting the tests in the background to make sure it is. Well, this is how the brands get to market fast with the latest trends using fast formulation principles and workhorse actives that they may or may not promote as being present in the product. They're still there, even with the other trend setting materials. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.